Hello there! In today's video I'm gonna show you the unboxing and the initial inspection of my new milling machine. To be exact this Optimum Optimil MB4. I'm too weak! Apparently I'm weaker than I thought, so I used some ancient Egyptian method. And a small tractor, because gravity. If you're thinking, damn, this looks sketchy, don't worry, I'm somewhat of an expert in unloading heavy machinery. It's your typical six-speed geared head, square, column, benchtop mill. Me mechanic, not speak English, but he know what me mean when me say car no go. Otherwise also known as RF45, weighs about 320 kilo. The spindle is a more stable four and it has around two horsepower. You have to mount the hand wheels for X, Y and Z and also for the spindle. The table is covered in a thick layer of grease. In the spindle there is a 22mm arbor mounted with a M16 drawbar. The Z axis is driven by a bevel gear lead screw. I think the older models had a rack and pinion gear inside. The circuit box looks tidy and neat, uh, well organized. The scope of delivery includes I picked this mill up on an 8 hour round trip near the German Austrian border since this was the only shop who had this particular mill in stock. Since everybody has now stocked up on toilet paper, it seems the benchtop mill is now the new object of desire. <laughs> However, I picked the brand Optimum since they are probably one of the few who do some form of quality control and goods outgoing inspection. Let's power on the mill and see if I got myself a lemon or a somewhat decent machine. The geared head also seems to work despite the quite unusual gear spread. Out of the 12 speeds, 4 are almost the same, so it's more like an 8 speed transmission. Now let's check the runout and the squareness straight out of the box. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with the machine I received. The quality of manufacturing is quite good for a relatively cheap Chinese import machine. The paint job is good, but it seems it was assembled while still being wet, because with the screws also some paint comes loose. The T-slots inside the table are painted, 
but here the paint also comes loose. But this is only a cosmetic issue. Another minor problem I found is a small surface rust spot on the top corner of the column. But since it's the most top region and non-wearing, I already buffed it out. The overall geometry is good, except the alignment of the column. The column is leaning sideways quite a bit. I will shim it in the first place, but in the end it will probably be epoxied, like the mill from Stefan got this winter. As usual, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment.